the starting running back is deep. And Carter will field at the four. Made a man miss. Knocked out of bounds beyond the 30-yard line. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the ACC this year. Carter's the back. He'll get the carry. Tries to work to the perimeter. Got tripped up. David Curry was firing through. The linebacker number six with Christian Campbell. See David Curry just going underneath the block, spilling him outside. Jackets able to rally and tackle. They're 12th in the conference at 30%. Howell's first throw of the day. Crossing route, and that's the tight end, Garrett Walston. Just his second catch of the year. Juggle the snap, hands to Carter. First down to the 44 of Georgia Tech goes Michael Carter. We'll see if Sam Howell decides to go there. Pressure coming. Intercepted. Taken away by Antoine Owens. Sam Howell throws just his third interception of the year and a big turnover early for Georgia Tech. So Georgia Tech brings pressure. Owens there on the left side of your screen, drops back. Howell doesn't account for the defensive end, dropping right underneath the route, throws it right to him. How about the hands for the big fella, though? Being able to rein it in and getting a big turnover for Georgia Tech early in this football game. Graham out of Fitzgerald, Georgia, making the start for Jeff Collins. And a quick throw on first down. And this is Adonica Sanders. Elias Griffin, the freshman from Rome, Georgia, in the backfield with Graham on third and long. Graham cuts it loose, looking deep. Man there and offline for Malachi Carter. And that's why I think they're going to try and run the ball down this Georgia Tech defense store. Bo Corrales back in the ball game at wide receiver for Carolina. Here's Michael Carter. And he can't get started. Bruce Jordan swimming. If you look, they may have gotten caught with too many men on the field, Wes. And the throw caught here, Newsom in front of the Georgia Tech bench. It'll be close, and it is a first down at the 31. Backfield with Javante Williams taking the snap. Snap to Williams, and he will get the first down. Well, they run uh, Vargas, the tight end, on a little counter buck, Roddy. On his Carolina's all-time winningest football coach with 72 victories. Howell shoots it across the middle. The catch made in stride. Toe Groves. A Tar Heel first down to the Georgia Tech. Tar Heels ready to ride. Michael Carter right side. Hit the cut back. First down and more. Carter to the 15. Into the slot right here. He just switched. We'll see if they go to him. Howell looking for the corner and Groves. Can't turn around and reach back against the Johnny Kerr. Goal try for Ruggles who on the year, seven for ten. Try is away. And the Tar Heels have scored first here in Atlanta. But Graham, the young man from Fitzgerald, Georgia, getting the start today and has great speed. Here is Graham sliding down, takes a shot. Partisans here at Grant Field wanted a flag on the Don Chapman hit. Very quickly, second and ten, and here is... A quick throw to the tight end, Devaney. One of the guys got to come off the ball and take advantage of that free five yards. Here's the give. Mason going nowhere. Chaz Surratt. Now I want to tell you, this is one of the best stories in college football right here with Chaz Surratt. I mean, look at this turn of events for Georgia Tech. They should have had second and short because Aaron Crawford's basically in the backfield without touching. Yeah, they know they have some pieces that don't necessarily fit what they would want to do ideally, but... The biggest thing is getting better. Not some guy just showed up. Correct. That's a good player out there. Shavante Williams, another Tar Heel first down. And we'll see a ton of them today as North Carolina's been pretty good running the football. And Javante Williams again. Pours through to beyond the 47-yard line, a run of 10, and another Carolina first down. These two guys, the two slots to the top and bottom of the screen. Quick throw, caught on the backside, Toe Groves. And a first down at the 38. Howell, back in the pocket and in trouble. Eludes the pressure. Look at this, Corrales can't come up with it. Just playing Cotto to wait on the punt. And 
Kiernan. This is Ben Kiernan, young man from Ireland, dumping it to Blancato, and then he got hit right around the 12-yard line. Tar Heels chased it with a Buna and kick cover back after this. Graham looking toward Oliver, throws instead for Davis. Did he get enough for the first down? He did to the 23 ahead of Miles Dorn. James Graham back at quarterback. Yep. Graham quick throw, caught going up the ceiling. Adonica Sanders, second big grab of this first half for the Jackets and a first down. And Graham looks to throw again. Downfield, intercepted. Don Chapman. The freshman from San Diego, California, his first interception is the Tar Heel. This doesn't account for the safety. North Carolina able to get the big interception here in the second quarter. In fact, they're going to get man-to-man -man again on third down for Georgia Tech. Yep. Howell made the throw and a rolling catch of it by Newsom. Wow. Absolutely. Newsom right at the sticks, goes down. Under the football, really good catch. It sets up a fourth down for North Carolina. So North Carolina a little sloppy in this first quarter. Howell, Javante Williams. And he gets 10 on first down, maybe 11. Two freshman is the backup quarterback. And there was a three-way quarterback competition in fall camp. He was not a part of it. So they are very concerned if Sam Howell were to go down. And the catch made, and that's Newsom at the 20 for another first down. You get a weird formation with four players down to the bottom. Howell picks out the wide open guy. It's Daz Newsom, touchdown, Carolina. 20 yard throw to Newsom. Rips one in there for Newsom. 10 0 Carolina in Atlanta when we continue. That defense, give him some rest. Third down and six. Graham wants to throw. Forced to the left side and out of bounds, well short of the first down. Chaz Surratt again. Has Newsom back to return now. He averages seven yards a return. Presley Harvin gets it away. Newsom from the 19. Out of bounds at the 25. I was going to say Anthony Allen. There you go. <laughs> He's up there. <laughs> he is up there. Here's the throw, tap, almost intercepted. Howell came within a whisker of his second pick of the day. The defense of the Jackets as it is for the offense of Jeff Collins. Is. You're exactly right. Kiernan. Side swipes one to Blancato. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Nice run by Jerry Howard gets Georgia Tech nine. Under three to go, and maybe the most important offensive drive of the day for Collins' team. And Jordan Mason bangs away to the 44 minutes to play here. Well, and a little momentum. You almost pick off Sam Howell on the other side, get North Carolina, but a punch it in the end zone. But you feel the momentum swinging the Jackets' way. Graham tries to keep it, and boy, Carolina handled it well. Surratt and then Gimmel right there, the two linebackers. Up on the wrong side of the put your hel rival's helmet on. Yeah. Graham in trouble to Mon Fox. And a timeout taken by Mac Brown in defense. 10 0 when we come back to Atlanta. And Daz Newsom waits. Line drive, chance for a return perhaps. Newsom slides through, stretches out to the 39-yard line, and that's where the Tar Heels get started. Nothing else. It's something that Pitt has to prepare for that they've got to spend time at during the week going through. Howell giving ground, flips it to Carter. Blockers in front. Michael Carter. Out of bounds at the 20. Trey Swilling might have saved the touchdown. Davius Clanton actually plays this well. Watch big 97, sniff it out, and almost get a finger on that ball. But Sam Howell with a great throw, getting it to Michael Carter. Yard play sets Carolina up just outside the Georgia Tech 20. Into the flat, Newsom. Cut back to 10 and knocked out of bounds. First and goal from the 8. We've got Bo Corrales to the bottom in one-on-one. -on -one. Loop it for Corrales, caught it. Touchdown, Carolina against Samari Walton. 
did it earlier in the year. Bo Corrales getting lined up, a back shoulder throw. It's like he got one-on-one -on -one to the boundary. Coach Collins told us don't like those. Graham up in the pocket, sacked. And that is Aaron Crawford of Graham. And Crawford's right up the middle working on the center. And William Lay is to just use a power move, get into the backfield. And, and that's why Georgia Tech doesn't want to be in those types of situations and tough to be able to protect. It's a very talented front for North Carolina. Presley Harvin to punt. Gas Newsom will make the fair catch. Which North Carolina offense are we going to see? Michael Carter going left. Gets a block on the edge from the tight end, Walston, and has a first down. And Javante Williams both in the backfield with Howell here on second and short. Howell out the flat. Javante Williams easy first down and then lays the wood on Bruce Jordan Swilling. Looks to be the offense we saw at the end of the first half. Just shy of the red zone here. Howell looking to throw. Shoots it in the middle of the field. Deami Brown, first and goal, Carolina at the Georgia Tech six-yard line. See, because he had a post route from Brown. He had a wheel route from Gaz Newsom. Opted for the post. And even though that's all, I actually think he wanted to throw it a little behind the receiver so he doesn't run him right into safety. Devontae Williams cannot break away from Brentavius Glant. Big 97, and a flag has been thrown. I think it's going to be on Charlie Heck. Howell loops it for Corrales. Missed time the jump with Zamari Walton incomplete. Just shot of 40. And it is no good. Seven class was something special, man. And I think, you know, that's what you need when you, when you want to win a lot of games. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, Jordan yeah, Mason, gone. best run of the day for Georgia Tech. Their best offensive play. Yeah. And inside the 25 oh, okay. goes Mason. Derek, break this one down. He just creases okay, him right up the middle. Oh, good move. Good and then there's that, there's, that, there's that Derek Morgan speed. Yeah, I don't know about all that. Edge, I, got, I got the first 10 yards for you. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ultimately wants. But, but what do you see that are positives to build on? Oh, man, I, I think the effort's there, right? I think you see a lot of guys who, that love to play football. I knew this day was coming. So, you know, to kind of ease in the transition. So I'm, I'm really excited about this next chapter. Got a lot of... Oh, oh got him. does hit Brown. That's how it the nice. Georgia Tech touchdown to Malachi Carter. 28 yards. Oh, on just coming. a loop from James Graham. Like Morgan joins Jim. us. Malachi Carter, the touchdown. Georgia Tech trails 10 in Atlanta. Carolina's had success going to these guys in the slot. We'll see if Sam Howell goes there. 8 of 13 on third down. Newsom the catch and not going anywhere. So here is Kiernan, the young man from Ireland who came to the United States. Ends up as a putter. And this is Blancato. And he'll be taken down by Surratt, shy of the 35. There's no stoppage of play here. Play on, and this is Mason, and boy, Carolina's Aaron Crawford leads the parade there. 92 has been the definition of a run stopper here this afternoon. So now third and nine. Graham, Fox got to him and forced the incompletion. I stand corrected. <laughs> Which is always good. Howell fumbled the snap, picks it up, tries to move around the pocket. He'll be sacked. It'll be third and long. Dawson as well getting back there. Big number 90 wearing that number in honor of Brandon Adams. But 96, Chris Martin. Three safeties deep. Expect him to drop eight again. They only bring three. How loads it up. Caught Corrales. It's a first down to the 37. The Daz Newsom too. But Corrales able to hook up right at the sticks. And on the third and 16. As you said, Georgia Tech back looking like they're going to press. Here's Howell. Backs up. Throws. De'Ami Brown caught it. First down at the 49. Seven seconds, please. Going back to that third down play, Sam Howell moves a little bit, but you see Brown coming back to the football, able to catch it. 13 yards and then coming back to Sam Howell so that he's able to catch the ball with enough for the first down. Flag thrown on the run by Javante Williams. See what they choose out of Phil Longo's book. 
Carter to carry and a great play by Kelton Dawson. Dawson does a fabulous job of fighting through to get Carter on the ground. How to throw. Across the middle, caught. Toe grows. First down at the 20. Some nice route combination coming from the right side. Sam Howell out. staring Play down injury. the barrel of pressure. Delivers that football, and it's a little behind your receiver. Tay Williams with him out of the Georgia Tech timeout. Looking to the end zone, Deami Brown. Did he get a foot down? Yes! Touchdown, Carolina. Over the top of Trey Swilling. Balls up in the air. Brown goes up, high points it, foot down in the end zone. And wow, and these Carolina receivers, it's been a little inconsistent at times, but you see this is a young group with incredible talent, great ball skills. I would say he's been a little frustrated with the quarterback play in general. He was excited about what James Graham could do, and that's because of things like this. Adonica Sanders has had a big day, and it continues. 31-yard throw from Graham. It's just an out, and Graham puts it right on the money. Donica Sanders is able to roll back to the inside. The big receiver breaks a tackle, finds somebody to deliver it, and I think they have it, James Graham. And can you protect up front? They're going to hand the ball to Jerry Howard, the biggest of the backs. Blast through. It'll be first and 10 inside the 15 at the 14 on the Gimmel tackle. And some that sailed into the stands. Here's James Graham, who can really run. Turns the edge and is pulled out of bounds by Ross at the two, first and goal. These quarterbacks gets open field to the numb side, that tight end side, they're gonna take it. There's nobody over there. James Graham able to get a big game. Jordan Mason, touchdown, Georgia Tech. And just like that, the Jackets match the Tar Heels. Yeah, great play design. This is the touchdown. On 11. Graham going to jump pass. Tyler Davis, the tight end for two points. And then completed by the little throwback to Tim Tebow, the jump pass. Proceeds from the replica jerseys and replica capes being sold. Those go to Children's Health Care as well. What a bullet to Corrales. And Carolina, a first down out to the 30-yard line. Martin's the guy that hit it for the Jackets. First and 10, Carolina shy of the 30. And Javante Williams breaking free, looks to the outside. A flag has gone down as Williams gets to the Georgia Tech 42-43 yard line. Young Chewin, the young man from Belgium, called for the face mask. Had a shot right there at Javante Williams. All he was able to get was a finger on the helmet. Williams able to rumble down and then tack on 15 to the end of it. The talented running back. Career high passing for Howell now, 336 on the day. And Javante Williams tries to keep his feet. Georgia Tech got too much pressure. Antoine Owens was there. He got, he'll need the cold tub tomorrow. Antoine Owens did not pull up at all. A lot of it falls on the sophomore. Anderson making his fourth start. Here's Howell. Shoots another one, Corrales the catch, got hit immediately. And that was Miles Sims. This team is not going to be really good going forward. Yep. Howell, there's Walston, the tight end. Did he get it in? Touchdown, Carolina for Garrett Walston. 16-yard throw, Walston's first touchdown of the year. On Georgia Tech. Under 10 to go, and Sam Howell has thrown for a career-high 362 and now four touchdowns. To get those guys off the field just before a lot of times when they would have those big injuries to the soft tissue. Graham got blasted by Crawford, and Malachi Carter couldn't hang on on the back end. He's looking very forward to this bye week coming up next week where he can get some downtime, get fully healthy, and make a big push for their ACC slate coming up. Newsom signals for the fair catch, albeit three quarters of the way through ball flight. On them and get ground, get yards on the ground. Yep. Here is Carter. First down run beyond the 40 to the 41. First and 10. Carter again. Charlie Thomas, a big time play in the open space.
tackle Carter had a choice to make as a running back. Right about here, you got to decide whether you're going to cut it up field and challenge the linebacker or whether you're going to make it a foot race. Here on a third and long, you want to make sure you get the right call. A lot of guys hanging around around the line of scrimmage for Georgia Tech. Yep. Georgia Tech going to bring some pressure. How going to throw. Here is Newsom turning up field, and he will have the first down to the 48-yard line. You saw Lonnie Galloway, the wide receivers coach. Briefly, here is Javante Williams, and that's another first down on second and ten. Gets the start for Virginia yep. Tech at quarterback. And let me tell you, if they win this game, Ryan Willis may not get that ball back. Javante Williams may house this inside the ten and brought down inside the five. Boy, Javante Williams has had a day. Well, they called him their most complete back. He does a great job in pass protection, runs physically as you see him finishing the run there at the end, and then also has the speed to be able to make you pay. First and goal. They fumbled it, picked it up, handed it to Javante Williams, who reroutes and scores. If we can mess up everything on the play, and still score a touchdown. Javante Williams makes a move, finds a crease, takes on a defender, falls in the end zone. <laughs> Follows them. The kick toward Dante Smith. Here's the freshman trying to find a seam and pushes it across the 30, and that's where Georgia Tech with 317 will get started. ZTN and Lynn J. Dixon up in Clemson, South Carolina, and after that, this group is in the conversation for best in the league. Graham backing up, now going to slip out, and he can run. First down, 45, slides down at the 48. But I think Georgia Tech has found the quarterback. Yeah. It, I think it's James Graham's ball from here on. The question is, around him, how can they create enough pressure? Excuse me, how can they keep him from getting pressure? He's going to have his packages. He's going to have his ability to get the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up at running back at some point just to take some snaps as well. Here goes Graham around the edge, and he'll get shoved out of bounds by Don Chapman. And Chapman was a guy that they had seen when he was recruiting for West Point. And he had family in the North Carolina area. And they called him up and said, you interested? Here's Amari and Brown in stride for the touchdown. And Chapman got beat there by the speedy freshman Brown. And he's able to deliver an absolute dime on the run to Amari and Brown down the field. That's the throw that gets you excited. Reminded me, Coach, where's that pink band? <laughs> well, the, the great part of that story is the, the players kept saying they couldn't see the bands until they got a pink one on. And they were like, oh, yeah, Coach, we can see that one. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, is there any chance the players could see the other ones, but they just wanted him to wear the pink one? Better than he was a week ago, because he has been. 31 seconds left. Graham in here cutting it loose. Middle of the field and batted away and intercepted. Tar Heels are going to intercept it with DJ Ford. It's about these, what he calls closed middle throws, where you have a safety in the middle of the field, which closes it off, the ability to go deep down the middle. It's the second time today North Carolina's gotten him. The first interception was the same thing, free safety being able to make a play. Picking it off, had one against Temple as well last week. So there, there's enough there for North Carolina where Mac Brown's going to go back and say, guys, we did not play well today.